Hi, Max Abramsky here with the Cisco TAC AAA team. Today, I want to show you how to configure a USB device for installation of Cisco ICE 3.2 on an SNS appliance. This process requires the USB device to be sized 16 or 32 gigabytes. First, plug in the USB device to your local computer and navigate to the USB drive. You need to format the device to ensure that all the space on the device is free. Click Format. In the Format pop-out window, select FAT32 under the File System drop-down menu. Click Start. Click OK to acknowledge that any data on the disk will be erased and to proceed with format. Now that the device has been formatted, you need to load the Cisco ICE 3.2 ISO image onto the drive. If you have not done so already, please download the Cisco ICE 3.2 ISO image onto your local computer from software.cisco.com. You need to use the Rufus tool to load the image onto the drive. Download and launch Rufus. Select your USB device from the Device drop-down menu. Select Disk or ISO image from the Boot Selection drop-down menu. Click Select and navigate to the Cisco ICE 3.2 ISO image. Select the image and click Open. Select MBR under the Partition Scheme drop-down window. Select BIOS or UEFI under the Partition Scheme drop-down window. Click Start. Click OK to proceed with loading the Cisco ICE 3.2 ISO image onto the USB device. This process takes approximately 30 minutes to complete. Once the status shows as ready, the process has been completed. You can now close the Rufus application. Next, you need to edit three of the files on the USB drive. The first file to edit is ISO Linux.cfg in the ISO Linux folder. Open the ISO Linux.cfg file in a text editor. Within this file, you need to replace the string cd-rom with the string hd colon sdb1. There are three occurrences of this string within the file. Once you have replaced all three occurrences, save the file and return to the USB base directory. The next file you need to edit is the grub.cfg file. To find this file, open the EFI folder, then the boot folder. In this file, you need to perform the same steps as the first file. That is, replace each occurrence of CD-ROM with HD colon SDB1. There are also three occurrences of CD-ROM within this file. Save the file and return to the USB base directory. The last file which you need to edit is the ks.cfg file. This file is located directly in the base directory of the USB drive. In this file, you will need to replace the one instance of CD-ROM with the string hard drive dash dash partition equals slash dev slash disk slash by dash label slash adeos dash dash dir equals slash. Save the file. You can now eject and remove the USB device. You need to plug in the device to one of the USB ports on the rear panel of the SNS device. This is marked with number 7 in the rear panel diagram here. Log into the Cisco Integrated Management Controller, CIMC, for your SNS device. Click on the Launch VKVM button in the upper right corner. If the SNS device is currently powered off, 
power on the device by opening the power menu and clicking power on system. Otherwise, if the SNS device is currently powered on, power cycle the device by opening the power menu and clicking power cycle system. In this video, the device is already powered on, so I power cycle the system. Once you reach the screen with the Cisco logo, press F6 on your keyboard to enter the boot menu. Once in the boot menu, press arrow key down to navigate to the USB device which was configured and press enter to boot from the device. On the next screen, select Cisco ICE Installation Keyboard Slash Monitor to begin the installation. After approximately 15 minutes, you see the setup screen. Enter setup at this prompt. Enter the setup information for the SNS device at each prompt and complete the installation process. Thank you for watching.